another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video will focus on the types of unemployment. There are four types, or causes if you like, of unemployment that you need to be aware of. Seasonal unemployment, frictional unemployment, structural unemployment, and cyclical unemployment. We're going to take a look at each of these in more detail now. Seasonal unemployment refers to the unemployment that occurs because certain jobs only exist at certain times of the year. In the UK, theme parks shut through the winter months. A ski resort would only be able to make money during the winter months. When it comes to fruit and vegetables, there are certain times of the year when they need to be harvested, and these are the times when more workers are required. Places like Devon and Cornwall that see a huge influx of visitors through the spring and summer months will experience a lot more seasonal unemployment in the colder months. Frictional unemployment refers to when workers are temporarily unemployed because they've left one job but have not yet started another. Frictional unemployment is actually really necessary in the economy. It shows that workers are willing to move from less productive roles into more productive new and developing industries. Structural unemployment occurs when an industry goes into decline. The unemployed workers from that industry may lack transferable skills that can be applied to jobs that are available in their area. Unemployed workers may also be geographically immobile. This might be because they've got ties to the area through their family, or it might be because the amount that the property is worth is just not enough to allow them to sell up and move somewhere else. One of the reasons for this is that when you see structural unemployment and an industry goes into decline, the area where that industry used to be suddenly has a lot of people who are unemployed. These people are spending less in the economy and it has knock-on effects for all the other businesses in the area as well. As small businesses collapse and unemployment increases, those that can move away do, making the situation even worse the area becomes a deprived area and the property values plummet. This has been the experience of both parts of the north of England and the Welsh Valleys areas, where in the late 80s, the mining industry went into a decline and they both suffered from structural unemployment. Both of these areas still have persistently high unemployment today that is higher than the other areas around them. It can take a long time and significant investment to turn around the problems caused by structural unemployment. There have been some signs of new growth in the Welsh Valleys region, where new investment from IT firms has led to the creation of a number of high paying jobs in the area. Cyclical unemployment happens when demand is falling. If demand is lower, then less output is required by firms and therefore less workers are needed to produce this lower amount of output. Cyclical unemployment can be a big problem because it can lead to a vicious circle. This is because as more people become unemployed, they have less money to spend and less money goes into the economy. This means demand is falling further and once again, less workers are needed to produce the required output. Therefore, more people might get laid off and again, the demand goes down. So you can see that this vicious circle occurs. The government can help break this cycle by giving incentives to firms to hire people through things like apprenticeship schemes and even through investing themselves in large projects that generate employment for the people that provide them. In any scenario where you're asked to evaluate the causes of unemployment, it is quite likely that there may be several of the factors at play that we've just discussed. Let's take a look at an example of Blackpool. Blackpool is a seaside resort in the northwest of England. They deal with seasonal unemployment because more people come there in the summertime than at any other time of the year. However, with most of Blackpool relying on the tourist trade to survive, cyclical demand can also play a massive factor. As demand starts to fall in the economy and people have less money, one of the first things they cut back on is things like holidays that they consider to be a luxury. In some ways, Blackpool could be said to have gone through some structural unemployment when British holidaymakers first made their change of preferences from British seaside resorts to the Mediterranean. That brings us to the end of this video on the types of unemployment. 
Join me again soon when I'll be looking at the consequences of unemployment. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.